What's up guys? We're back with another video and today we'll be talking about what's in my bag. A lot of you have been asking for this video and here it is. Hope you like it. We're starting off with my putting putters. I'm using the 350G PA3 just because of the glide of the PA3 and the stiffness of the 350. And last year I got the signature stamp and these are special just made for me. And then I have another one that is a little more beat up, so I can use this for like 40 meter up shots and long, long jump putts. Moving on to my putting putters. There we have, of course, the P Model S. I use this for long anisers because I can, I can do whatever I want with this disc. It's so good. Then we have two PA3s. One in 300 that is almost brand new, that is still pretty stable. I can still put on highs and you know, just keep gliding all the time. And I have a bead in, I think it's two season old now, Team Stamp 300 PA3 as well. This is a lot more understable, but I can, sh can shoot this on a hyzer and then just pops up and then just rides to the right. And then I have I think this is one of my most important discs in my bag. It's the 400G PA1. This one has been in my bag for four years now and it's still not flippy. I can throw it on hyzer, on, on, on anhyzer I mean, and it just kept straight the whole time just lands like a helicopter. And then I have a brand new one, Hot Club PA1 400, 400G I mean. Uh, and this is so overstable. I can just put it on hyzer and it just holds all the way. This is Super good disc. Moving on to the approach discs, of course I bag the A2, I have two of them. One in 300 that is a lot more beat in. So this is just a straight forehand disc, but has a lot of glide. And then I had the new 500 A2. This is, this is overstable. I use this for shorter forehand approaches, and if there's any wind outside, I use this. Moving on to the mid wrenches. I only bag M3s. We're starting off with the flippiest one. That's the Europe Stamp M3. This is pretty old. This is the most understable in my bag. I can just throw it on high and just hold all the way. And then I have this old 400 Seppo M3 as well. This is the straightest disc in my bag. I can just put it on high, it pops up, and then just glide for days. Maybe. I use this for up to 120 meters. And then I have the, the stable mid wrench in my bag. And that's also the M3, my signature disc. I can just throw it on high as it pops up and then it just glides to the left. Moving out to the fairway drivers. I bag two fairway drivers. It's the new 500 F1. When I need, when it's a little more of a wind out, I need more distance than my M3s, I use this one. Because this is, it's not that fast of a fairway driver, but it's still stable. And then I have this old one. This has been in the bag from day one in Prodigy This is the F5 400. I can use this in the wood, low ceilings, just glides for days. And we're moving out on to the, to the hybrids. I have three hybrid discs in my bag, starting off with the flippy one. That's the 750 Lore Markkanen H3 V2. This thing, if I need something that's a little longer than my F5, I use this H3. And it goes around 140 meters if I want to. After that, I have the H1 V2. And this is, when it's a lot more wind than for the H3 V2, I use this one. And I also use it for sidearm shots, of course. And I have the OG H1 in low plastic. This is crazy overstable. I use it for thumbers, I use it for flick forehands, and I use it for get out of problems. Then we're moving up to the distance drivers. I bag three D2s. And I have them in different stability. Starting off with the flippiest one. I got this from, told me, a good friend of mine. This is 
when I need distance, I go for this disc. It's the 400 GD2. I can just put on a little hyzer, it just flips over and holds the line forever. And then I have another D2 that is so straight. It just flies straight like a rope. And then I have my, my stable D2. Also in the 400 GD plastic, of course. And then I have the D1 Max. This is pretty new to my bag. It's super beat in. So I use this as my long distance roller because it has, from start, it has a pretty overstable flight. And when I beat it in, it has such, just such a good roller. I can put it in straight down and just keeps the straight line forever. And then I have two X1s in my bag. And we're starting off with a 750 x1 this is it's not beat in but it's not brand new so i can put it straight on a little anheuser it just keeps going straight and then it dumps to the left and then i have the 400 x1 this is so overstable this is almost brand new i can just use this as hyzers or super get out game you have problems but it's such a good disc to have when it's ripping headwood so what else do i have in my bag Towel, Victor hooked me up with a flight towel. He used this to warm up when it's rainy out or we don't want to warm up outside. Yeah. Of course, the M4 Mini, couple energy shots. And then I have this, the rangefinder. The rangefinder is so good when you just need to know how far it is from the basket or how far it is to the tree. So you just, you just can trust your trust your distance and you just rip the disc and then I have these the European birdies these are helping me when it's so warm out just to squish it and you get your grip in your hands huge shout out to uh, Yusuf Berry who just got me into the team then I also have a pair of over-ear headphones just to keep your focus and the momentum when you when you start warming up, you just you just you just need to find the momentum. You just put some good music on, and then you just find that peace and that momentum, so you can you start off in the whole one, just kill the course. That's all that I have in my bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.